Hi guys, it's Dan and welcome back to my kitchen. As you can tell, we're still keeping it spooky and today we're gonna to be making a Halloween trifle. It's gonna have layers of chocolate cake, delicious vanilla pudding, marshmallow and ghost peeps, lots of buttercream and lots and lots of festive sprinkles. I'll be sure to post a link to the recipe right down below in the description. And don't forget, I'm still giving away 20 KitchenAid stand mixers. So be sure to stay tuned at the end of the video for more information. Now let's go ahead Preheat your oven to 350 degrees and get started on this spooky, festive, or actually maybe spoopy, a spoopy Halloween trifle. So for this Halloween trifle, we're going to be using chocolate cake. So let's go ahead, grab our mixing bowl, and to that we're going to go ahead and add in our butter and our sugar. And with our hand mixer on a medium speed, we're going to whip these up and cream them together until they're both light and fluffy. And then we'll follow that by adding in our eggs and our vanilla. Now back in with that hand mixer on a medium speed and give it a good mix for one good minute. Now let's go ahead, scoot that to the side, grab another mixing bowl for our dry ingredients and start by adding in our flour, our cocoa powder, our baking soda, and our salt. And then we're just gonna give that a quick little whisk So we have our wet ingredients and we have our dry ingredients. Now let's go ahead and start adding in our dry ingredients to the wet mixture, but we're gonna alternate between our water. So we're gonna start and end with the flour mixture. And you just wanna slowly add the dry ingredients to the butter mixture you know, while alternating with that water. Again, being sure to start and end with that dry ingredient mix. And keep mixing on a low speed until your cake batter is nice and creamy. You shouldn't need more than a good minute on that nice low speed. This way, you don't overmix your cake batter. And just like that, in a few quick and easy steps, we have our delicious, creamy chocolate cake batter. Now let's go ahead and pour that into our prepared pan. And lastly, we just pop that in the oven and let bake for a good 40 to 45 minutes, or until your cake tester comes out clean. So our cakes have baked, They've cooled. I already went ahead and leveled them out. So we have two nice, delicious chocolate cake layers. So with our trifle bowl, we're gonna go ahead and add in our first layer of chocolate cake. Then we're gonna take some ghost marshmallow peeps and press them up against the edge of our trifle bowl. You know, this way they're kind of saying hello and spooking at you. Now we're gonna take some delicious and my favorite vanilla pudding dyed a nice bright spooky orange. And we're just gonna fill our trifle bowl with that tasty, tasty, yummy vanilla pudding. Now I'm only gonna be using two chocolate cake layers, so I'm gonna be using a lot of vanilla pudding here. But if you wanna add another layer of chocolate cake, some pudding, another layer of chocolate cake, you go ahead and add as many layers of chocolate cake and vanilla pudding as you'd like. But because I'm such a big fan of this vanilla pudding, I'm gonna do more vanilla pudding than cake. Then with a spatula or a wooden spoon, you wanna go ahead and just smooth out your vanilla pudding on top of your trifle. This way the cake has a nice, good base to lay on top of. And once that's smoothed over, we're gonna go ahead and add on top our last layer of chocolate cake. Now, for my favorite part, it's time to decorate. So I have piping bags of purple and orange buttercream, really sticking with that spooky or spoopy, Halloween festive yumminess. So let's go ahead and start with some purple buttercream and we're gonna do kind of a spiral around the edge of our trifle bowl. Just add lots of purple, yummy, fluffy buttercream. And inside our purple buttercream ring, we're gonna add more dollops of orange buttercream, all on top of our trifle. And lastly, just top with festive Halloween sprinkles. Do some Halloween sprinkle pearls, some tombstones and some bones. and then even more festive Halloween sprinkle flakes. And just like that, we have our super easy, super festive 
super cute and spooky, delicious Halloween trifle. Now how easy was that? Thank you guys for stopping by. I had so much fun making this Halloween trifle today. If you like baking videos, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Helps me out, lets me know I'm baking up treats you guys all enjoy and you want more of. And if you want even more tasty recipes, I mean, Halloween's still right around the corner. Plus we have Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's and Val all the holidays are coming. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video so you don't miss out on any yummy bakes I have coming up. Plus, I'm still giving away 20 KitchenAid stand mixers. So don't forget to click the link down below in the description. It'll be right underneath the Halloween trifle recipe. It'll give you all the info you need on how to enter, all the ways to enter. I think there are you know, at least a dozen different ways to enter. And I'll be picking the first KitchenAid stand mixer winner as soon as we hit 5,000 subscribers. So be sure to stick around for that. And if you don't win the first time, you have the second time to win or the third time all the way up to the 20th. So once you enter, you're eligible for all 20 KitchenAid stand mixers. And lastly, don't forget if you make this Halloween trifle or if you make your own delicious spooky Halloween treats, definitely give a tag on Instagram and let me see what you're baking up in your kitchen. Alrighty, everybody, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this Medieval Kings costume because it's getting hot in the kitchen. But I will see you all, as always, in the next video very, very soon. Bye.